Looking to get out of the city and take in some fresh air in the Texas Hill Country? Look no further than Brenham, Texas. Here are three things you can do with your kids in Brenham that are cheap and fun for the whole family. Ever wondered what Texas was like before it was a state, i.e. back when it was its own republic? Well, this is where it all began. Okay, so what did they tell us, Hayden? So all of the trails are free, yes. right? Except, or yeah. So all the trails are free. Independence Hall, you can go see and that. We can go on the Blue Bonnet Trail. Yes, there's, there's they Poison said Ivy. Blue Bonnets are, and there's Poison Ivy mixed in, right? So Blue Bonnets are gonna be over here by old Washington Town site. Um, there's also tickets you can get for certain um, tours of Independence Hall and of the plantation, of the Barrington Plantation, who was the last president of Texas as a republic. So what are we gonna do? Uh, we gonna do a little walking around here to see some blue bonnets? Yeah. Go see Independence Hall maybe? Mm-hmm. Yeah? All right, well, let's go check it out. So this is George Childress. He drafted the Texas Declaration of Independence. And he is right here in the middle of all of the, this beautiful property. This is the very spot that 59 Texians braved the approaching armies of Mexican General Santa Ana to create and sign a formal declaration of independence from Mexico. This is Washington on the Brazos. The Republic of Texas created Washington in 1836, this site here right off of Road 12, once encompassed all of the present state of Texas, parts of New Mexico, Oklahoma, Kansas, Colorado, and Wyoming. Here you can see the Independence Hall, where the Texas Declaration of Independence was signed, the Barrington Plantation, which is the home of the last president of the Texas as the Republic, and the Star of the Republic Museum. While the trail map looks pretty extensive and the property covers almost 300 miles, the hiking trails really aren't that extensive. We chose the longest hiking trail they had to do and it took us maybe an hour to complete and that's with making stops to look at points of interest. If you're looking to experience Texas as it was in the 1800s, you'll want to visit on the weekend closest to March 2nd each year for the Texas Independence Day celebration. During this, the 1830s Republic of Texas period comes to life with costumed interpreters, period demonstrations, toe tapping music, firearms, and artillery firing. This annual two-day celebration also features food vendors, traditional crafts, living history presentations, and commemorative programs. Admission fees are waived at the museum during this weekend celebration, but the grounds are always free to walk around and explore. What do you think? Can you get it? Yes. <laughs> Fireman's Park in Brigham, Texas is home to this 1930s carousel. If you want to stop by and see this one-of-a-kind structure, pay close attention to their hours as they are pretty limited. They are only open on weekends between March and October. Saturdays they're open from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. and Sundays is 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Kids under 12 can ride the antique horses and it's only a dollar per ride. Who can say no to ice cream? If you're from Texas, the chances are you've heard of Bluebell ice cream. After all, it is the best ice cream there is. For planning purposes, they're open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. all year round. And just so you know, the warmer the weather, the earlier you might want to get there because it will get packed. First off, you'll want to stop in the visitor center. This area will tell you all about the history of Bluebell, show you how the company has grown over the years, and you can even get a paper Bluebell hat for free. Next, you'll go to the factory next door. After you head upstairs, you can go to the observation area and watch the workers below fill the ice cream cartons, put the lids on, and package them for shipment. Unfortunately, there's no photos or videos allowed in that portion of the facility, but we all love seeing how the ice cream is made. Don't forget to wave at the ice cream makers below. They're super friendly and will always wave back. So Hayden, why is it called Bluebell? It's 
cool Google because of the guys here at Flower. Yeah, nice. This facility in Brenham, Texas is one of Bluebell's many locations that you can see the behind the scenes of the factory and sample a few of their flavors. For just $1 per scoop, you can try out some of their newest flavors alongside a few of the classics. The best part is the ice cream because it's a dollar. Yep, so you can try all these different flavors and it's just a dollar a scoop. Homemade vanilla. Hold on, point to them. What do we got? We got homemade vanilla. Okay. We got s'mores. Mm -hmm. We got triple chocolate. We have mint chocolate chip. Mm -hmm. And then rainbow sherbet. Okay, so what are they rated one through five? Which is number one? Number one is this. Mint chocolate chip, always. This is vanilla. Three is that. Sherbet, okay. Four is s'mores. And five is triple chocolate. Okay, I like the s'mores one. That one's a pretty good one. I haven't tried the s'mores one. So that's one of two ice creams that they have that they have partnered with Magnolia for. So that's the s'mores at the silos one. That's pretty darn good. All right, so after every trip, we have to talk about what our favorite thing was on the trip. Mm -hmm. So this was a quick one. This was just a one-nighter. We came into Brenham yesterday and we're leaving today. Um, but, what was you guys' favorite thing? Um, my favorite was definitely going to Washington and Brazos and hiking and yes. the old historic monuments and getting the flag. Hayden is our history buff. He is so smart. We were walking around different things and he was giving us all of like the historical facts about the stuff. I had no idea what we were looking at, but he knew all about it. So that was really cool for him to be able to use some of the stuff he's learned at school to, um, you know, teach his family about it. And we went to Bluebell today and he said, that he, that the man who made the shop named it Bluebell because it's the man's favorite flower. That's right. So Harper, what was your favorite thing we did on our trip? My favorite thing was... Uh, was it the ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> I figured. This is no, our snack no, my queen. my push pop, my push pop. Oh my gosh. This is our snack queen, so of course, you know, Breakfast ice cream is a great thing. So that's one tip too. Um, if you're coming to Bluebell, especially in the summertime, they open at 8 a.m. and I would get here on the earlier side. Yes, it's a little early for breakfast, <laughs> breakfast ice cream, but it gets really packed. Like we're leaving now, it's 10.30 and the place is packed. Like there's not a spot to park. So just so you know, get here early. Um, what was my favorite part? My favorite part, as always, is being with them. Like this has been a really fun trip. We. They love staying in a hotel. They they love you know having breakfast at the hotel and road trip and they're they're really good road trippers. So it was fun just being able to spend time with them and take pictures in the blue bonnets. I really loved that part too. That was super fun. All right. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you like it and subscribe to the channel for more weekend trips like this.